Protect your online privacy today at expressvpn.com slash inside. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Inside Gaming Daily for Thursday. Get that dunk arm hot and ready because you heard it here first. Are we, it's are we spinning gaming. the inside gaming wheel of content? Could be Anthem, it could be Stadium, could be Bioware. Could be game it's not Bioware. Welcome to Inside Gaming Mad Libs. No, it's Inside <laughs> Gaming. We're going to be discussing <laughs> Phil Spencer pooped his pants in uh, Denmark. <laughs> oh no. No, it's Inside Gaming doing another Stadia video. Ha ha. Uh, it's about time we came back to this old well. These these days are my favorite days. There's the old saying, you get what you pay for, and boy, is that really true when it comes to everyone's least favorite cloud gaming service. Uh, Shadow. <laughs> That's right, Google Stadia is now free. Free, baby, so let the laggy uh, gameplay begin. It's 100% free. And grass-fed. Google announced that they're cutting the price of Stadia Pro to nothing for the first two months, at least. After that, you gotta pay your $10 a month like everybody else. What for? Nobody knows! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a really wacky sweet. service. What are you paying for? <laughs> now Santa. Uh, no. Yeah, a monthly subscription for the privilege of buying super old games. Thank you, Google. In a post by Stadia GM Phil Harrison yesterday, he alluded to the current coronavirus pandemic saying we're facing some of the most challenging times in recent memory keeping social distance is vital and staying home for long periods can be difficult and feel isolated yeah you don't say <laughs> don't worry guys stadia is here and it's here to save the day but not all the days though just uh like two months worth of days so don't get crazy yeah don't get greedy maybe get a little crazy get a little wacky and wild you're inside what else are you gonna do you light a fire in the living room throw spaghetti at the wall see what sticks yeah he added that video games can be a valuable way to socialize with friends and family when you're stuck at home so we're giving gamers in 14 countries free access to stadia pro for two months i guess so you can all play the tomb raider series at the same time on a facetime call and beautiful what's guilt look like for you on your end sorry <laughs> that's all the time i got i have to get back to playing orcs versus humans or whatever. <laughs> orcs must die sorry so which countries get this amazing incredible offer well we think based on where stadia is available they mean the united states canada uk france italy germany spain sweden denmark norway finland Ugh. Belgium, Cuba? Ireland, and the Netherlands. Pikachu, Polyworld, other uh, Pokemon. So the US, Canada, and a lot of Western Europe, you you lucky dogs, you, you scamps, the countries who need it most. Of course, since it's Stadia, there are some caveats to this free offer. Like we said, it's only for two months. Isn't that right, Amir Ramirez? That is correct, Connor McGrath. And of course, you'll still need something to play it on, right? I mean, you know, you could go just uh, set up an empty box of Kraft macaroni and cheese, plug a Super Nintendo controller it into Stadia. it, you're good to go. But yeah, That's a TV, Stadia. a desktop, a laptop, obviously some sort of Chrome OS tablet. It also supports Pixel in some Android phones. So you can't exactly play on anything yet, which is an absolute bummer for my smart fridge. I mean, the hell am I gonna do with it now? Why did I buy this thing? What do, what do I need this for? But hey, you'll get access to an amazing library of free games like Destiny 2, The mm -hmm. Collection, Grid, yeah. Guilt, not game. one but yeah. two SteamWorld games, The Serious Sam Collection, Spitlings, Stacks on Stacks, Parentheses on Stacks, and Thumper. What about Yoshi's Fart and Go? <laughs> I don't think that's on here. <laughs> oh, what a lineup. Well, actually, Thumper is pretty cool. Don't at me. And Grid is a, is a pretty good racing game. But either way, Harrison also noted that Stadia is taking a responsible approach to internet traffic because lots of people, like us, are working from home. Yeah, that means you guessed it, lower resolutions. Ooh. Harrison said that to reduce load on the internet further, we're working toward a temporary future that changes the default screen resolution from 4K to 1080p. Oh no. But don't worry, Harrison assures us that the vast majority of people on a desktop or laptop won't notice a significant drop in game play quality. But don't worry, our players are too stupid to notice. Luckily, a good majority of Stadia players are blind, so. Of course, 4K on Stadia was always kind of a pipe dream, no matter uh, what kind of promises they made in the rollout of the service. And since Stadia launched back in November, it had a bumpy ride. It didn't work that great for some users. It didn't launch with all of its promised features. And considering that it's a storefront with some free old games thrown in there, it wasn't that great of a value proposition. I don't yeah, know. Not at all. And especially it doesn't have Yoshi Fart and Go, so what the hell, <laughs> what, what, what do I even need this for? Well, you know how close closely guarded those IPR. Yeah, it felt like a niche service for enthusiasts and curious people with extra cash to spend, not for the general public. A curious person with extra cash to spend would normally be me, but I don't want it. So they're not even getting that demo. <laughs> but you also already have it. Huh? Well, I have uh, our copy, but there's a, there was only a three month trial that came with it, which has passed. So I, can't, I canceled it. So now just it's just a... sitting in your living room. You should just take that controller out back and put a bullet in its brain. Have it look out at the sunset. Like a f***ing <laughs> dog. Just think about the rabbit stadium. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> there were also reports earlier this year that Stadia's player base is pretty non-existent. Back in January, it was reported that downloads of the Stadia app had dropped by half since November. Even on Stadia's launch day in November, Kotaku's Jason Schreier, friend of the show, reported that it already looks 
like a monumental flop and that he heard from one person involved that pre-orders were below expectations. Oh, well, trouble ooh, in felt paradise. That one. Yeah. That's led to a lot of people, felt including some devs, to, to worry that Google is going to eventually abandon Stadia, which Google has a long history of doing. But for now, they're doing what everyone does when nobody wants their product, cutting the price. Us saying that Jason Schreier is a friend of the show is like someone watching hours and hours of a cam girl and then when they talk to their family going, things are getting pretty serious. Yeah, so trying to give something away is a time-honored tradition when you just want people to give your product a shot. With lots of people cooped up at home, Google clearly feels like this is an opportunity for people to try their service. And some people were giving it a shot. So the reviews were pretty mixed. Uh, that's, I feel like, being kind of generous, but we'll read these off to you guys in a second. But hey, while you're stuck at home eating through the stuff in the very back of your cabinets, don't you wish you had a nice, juicy steak instead? Today's episode of Inside Gaming Daily is brought to you by Omaha Steaks. They're having a, a stock up sale. We got a bunch of them sent to us a while ago. Really nice. Right now, the Omaha Steaks Limited stock up sale is available to our viewers to help your your family stock up on the food you love. Go to omahasteaks.com and enter the code INSIDE into the search bar and unlock savings unique to uh, our viewers. There's a variety of ready to ship stock up boxes available now by entering the code INSIDE in the search bar. You can save more than 50% on your order and get free shipping on orders of $69 or more. Oh, nice. These packages are perfect for families and they're ready to head straight to your door with free shipping. Stock up boxes include world famous Omaha steaks, naturally aged tenderness, trimmed to perfection, premium poultry and pork cut by Omaha steaks, butchers, and individually sealed for freshness and flavor. Tasty and easy to make side dishes. No work family meals for your slow cooker or oven. Skillet meals ready in 15 minutes or less. Artisan desserts and much, much more. Right now, stock up boxes ready to ship and save big. Plus shipments of $69 or more get free shipping. Omaha Steaks is a fifth generation family owned company with over 100 years of expertise in delivering perfectly aged, all American, grain finished beef that's hand cut by master butchers in the heartland of America. There's never been a better time to stock up on Omaha Steaks. Stock up sales going on right now with ready to ship packages that you could save 50% or more on and free shipping on orders of $69 or more. So visit omahasteaks.com, type inside in the search bar to shop today. Thank you very much, Omaha Steaks. All right. Right, let's get into what people had to say about Stadia. One Reddit user, Batmanerman, tried it on their gaming PC and a gigabit connection. They wrote, setup was easy, open Chrome, log in with my Gmail and get into Stadia. It's really cool to be able to add Destiny 2 and then play it within a second. No installing slash loading is cool. You're right, Batmanerman, that is cool. That's awesome, that's pretty rad. That's cool, yeah. man, that's cool, man. That's I'm glad sick. to hear you've been doing well. Bro, oh, I sick. actually see my friend over there, I gotta... It's been cool catching up, though. Tight, Batman. tight, tight. <laughs> Peace. That's the thing, cloud gaming can be pretty cool. <laughs> if it works right, some Stadia fans on the subreddit even posted a side-by-side -side comparison of the load times versus a PS4, and the difference was pretty stark. One section of the Division 2 loaded in eight seconds on Stadia versus almost a minute on the PS4. Brian even got it to work on a 2013 MacBook Air and an Xbox One controller. You know, optimal setup. I mean, for um, him. Yeah, I mean, that's how that's how Brian games anyway. For the normally elderly. It's just a, normally it's just a Word document, and he makes his own text adventure. He plays on a TI calculator. <laughs> he told us that Destiny 2 was a bit laggy, but he reported that it was still playable, although it did slow down in big battles. Mm. Man on the man on the ground, our, our reporter on the streets, yep. devil in the sheets, Brian Gar. So does that mean when it works, it's kind of cool? Cool. cool. Excellent. <laughs> but not everyone's going to have the same experience. So not everyone's a fan. For sure. Reddit user <laughs> Count Aardvark wrote that. So I tried Destiny 2 and man, is it awful. Whole game looks grainy and blurry like it's running at 720p and really bad input lag. GeForce Now by comparison seems like a marvel. Another user, Wolf Avery, also tried it out and wasn't impressed even with a one gig fiber hardwired internet connection. They wrote, my God, the video quality is garbage and it's not the lack of 4K or 60 FPS, it's the compression. I have no idea why they would choose a game like Guilt to be their big exclusive game when that game immediately displays just how shitty their compression algorithm is. And you know they're doing some kind of machine learning AI bullshit where it's like, it's a perceived 4K engine. Well, it looks like dog Google. When people are saying that about your free service that's been out for almost five months, that's not a it's not a great look, right, Amir? Isn't it? Isn't that true, Amir? Is he there? Uh oh, Amir. Yo, can you guys hear me now? There we go. Oh yeah, there you are. I don't Andy's know bad. what happened. I just like I don't know what cool. happened there. My arm started to hurt and I smelled toast. Problem with Stadia? Well, there are a million problems. Uh, first and foremost is terrorism. <laughs> uh, its library is still not great. Plus, with you know the current technology behind it, it can be impressive when it works, but it doesn't feel 100% there yet. Yeah, it felt like a beta when. Yeah. It was introduced back in November. 
November, and while it's made some progress, Google still has a lot of work to do. Meanwhile, there are already other options on the way. Project xCloud from Microsoft is an actual beta and is getting much better reviews. There are also reports out there that Amazon is working on its own cloud gaming service that's codenamed Project Tempo. An early version was supposed to release this year, but that might be pushed back to 2021 now. Although, I don't know. I heard Jeff Bezos is trying to get people to fly to Texas to launch one of his space tourism ships. We're seeing lots of tech companies start to jump into gaming because it is a massive $160 billion industry and everyone wants a piece of that sweet pie. That meat pie. That's a lot of money, right? Not to Jeff Bezos. That actually is about his net worth, right? Yeah, it's just shy. I think maybe like yeah. 15 bill. Yeah. So he'd we're probably catching be up still on that. comfortable. The inside gaming net worth, we're, we're getting up there. It's uh, close. You know, we were so close right before we the whole, you know, work from home thing started. Anyway, cloud gaming is still a really small part of all that, but it's expected to grow as the technology matures. Like a wine. Ooh. Or a teen. Uh, yeah, the idea is that you don't need any local hardware, uh, so it's really cheap to get into, as opposed to having to spend a lot of money on a console or a gaming PC or a smart fridge. <laughs> smart fridge. Nice. That's, yeah, uh, a callback. Uh, the goal with Stadia releasing last year was for it to be first out of the gate in terms of cloud services, but it did not make a great first impression. Now it's free for a few months, so we'll see if people give it a second look. So far, though, pretty much feels like our the same old Stadia, our crazy old friend. So what's the deal with Stadia? Have you seen this? Have you heard about yeah, this? Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Oh my God, he's doing it. <laughs> he's doing it. Uh, so Stadia. Right? <laughs> That's the guy from Steinfeld and Friends. Hey everybody, welcome back to Inside Gaming Daily for Friday. Oh, it's Friday. Yes! Yes! Oh, thank you for the tinnitus. Happy Friday, everybody. It's a crazy slow day, so let's jump one more time into the Google Stadia pool. Ah, nice and refreshing. 